Hi, everybody. Mark Victor Anson here. And what I want to do is I want to uh, share a loving goodbye to a great superstar friend of mine, Bob Proctor. During the late 80s, uh, Bob and I were becoming well-known speakers. We kept hearing intriguing things about each other. We had the same clients and leaders in different countries, and they'd say, Mark, you sound just like Bob Proctor. And Bob Proctor said, you sound just like Mark Victor Hansen. Well, hmm. So finally, uh, we wrote each other and promised we'd synchronize in time and space. After sending each other respective exhaustive travel schedules and looking it over, I was soon to speak in, in Michigan again to uh, a September to remember with Jack Boland's church with 5,000 people. And Bob says, wait a second, calls me up. I'm going to fly down and we're going to finally get together. We got to get together. Well, 10 minutes after meeting, we instantly recognized our like-mindedness and we befriended one another totally and absolutely. And we didn't know it then, but it'd be for a lifetime of sharing. And during my seminar, I said, look, ladies and gentlemen, if, if Frank Sinatra in the room and we have a piano up here that not have him sing would be a crime. So I've got one of the greatest minds of all times here. My dear friend, Bob Proctor, Bob, come on up here. And he shared half the time. And that night during the talk, the people loved our thoughtful sharing and they saw our friendship and we said, Hey, wait a second, let's work together. And we spent the next morning saying, Hey, if we work together in mastermind, we could awaken people's souls, stimulate their financial greatness hidden inside each and every individual. Well, we started masterminding and that eventuated in founding two great and prosperous companies together, the 3% Club and the Million Dollar Forum. And from our matrix, they were vastly successful and a triumph of extraordinary success because we had attendees breaking into millionaires by them changing their personal mindset, their money set and their future earning set. And when they made a million dollars, they got a ring just like this. Bob and I wore the first two of them. And it, Bob designed it to have the indicia there. And then our slogan, which we came up with, was MSI. We originated at multiple sources of income. And then on this side, this ring is the date when you blow past your million. 991 is one of the seminars that we were both at and did a great amount of money at that one. That was great. So it's been my privilege traveling around the world to meet many great individuals. And I've become a renowned speaker and leader and world's best-selling author. But Bob Proctor is one of the greatest of them all but because he talks to every individual's soul, heart, and mind. And he communicates in a way that he has them expand their sense of beingness, understanding, and love of life. Now, Solomon, the richest man of all time, says your job is to be an influencer of influencers, and that's exactly what Bob has done, and his work will profoundly impact more millions now. In the last year of Bob's life, he helped Chris and I on two important projects soon to be released. First, of a biography commissioned by the family to write Reverend Ike's uh, biography. Now, Reverend Ike was a minister and a friend and a thought leader of, of monumental importance, but what happened for me in 1973 and 74, I went bankrupt. I went, pew, pew. Well, I went and heard Reverend Ike, and he just got me to start thinking right, talking right, acting right, believing right, that there was infinite money available. And about that same time, Bob was uh, listening to him on radio. Well, Chris and I write this great biography, and Bob reads it while he's in his hospital bed in abject pain cover to cover. And he said he loved the book, and he wrote unequivocally the best forward I've ever seen. Well, a couple of days ago, Jan Danny Proctor, his grandson, calls me up and said, before Bob's transition, he told Danny, that is one of the most wonderful things that ever happened. Mark asked me to do that because I was able to contributely impact people, even though I'm in pain in a hospital bed. What a guy. Second project Bob willingly helped with in the last couple months was a biography about me written by our great friend and a brilliant writer, Mitzi Perdue. I called Bob, said, um, would you be willing to be interviewed by Mitzi? Without hesitation, he said, I'll do it. And he had no complaint and he did not disclose his pain. And here's a sample of what he said. The best thing that ever happened to Mark Victor Hansen was when he married Crystal. 
She's a beautiful person. She's so good to him. She loves him. Forever wanting to do things for him. And he hadn't experienced that before. She is endlessly kind and sensitive to him simply because that's the way she is. You could write a book how to treat people if you followed her. He is so happy today. He's really enjoying his life. Bob went on to say, I cherish my friendship with Mark. He's one of the better friends I've ever had. He's generous, loyal, and if I were stuck and I needed help, I know he'd help. He's frankly one of the best people I've ever known. Chris and I will forever be thankful for those loving words he offered in his last days. Bob is one of the great heroes of all time. You know, we only stop time three ways. Number one, by pictures and movies. Two, by books. And three, by our memories. I cherish all these phenomenal memories and experiences I had with Bob. And we had literally traveling around the world and enriching others. I love, respect, admire him. And I'm profoundly thankful to have walked, talked, and shared my life with my great and true friend, Bob Proctor.